morning friends and welcome to another video thank you so much for being here i have just gotten back from my trip away it was really amazing i went camping with landon and his family in yosemite valley which i cannot even begin to describe how beautiful yosemite is during this time of year there are just these giant flowing waterfalls and rivers and this green grassy meadow and then massive walls of thousands upon thousands of feet of granite that just dwarf you and it's absolutely humbling and otherworldly and to have spent a good number of days there soaking up the sunshine and hiking and camping was so so good for me um it has been really difficult settling back into being home it always is that way after um, spending so much time with people that you love and laughing and just always being with people to coming home totally alone facing your own mountains of work that you have to catch up on so that's what I've dealt with the first part of the week however even though the amount of to do's that I've had to get done has been overwhelming when I focus on the individual to-dos, I'm actually really excited because I love the work that I do. My to-dos consist of making, filming, and editing YouTube videos, and then just creating content for my Patreon, and designing future products, hopefully, and working on specimen frames, and answering messages. It's all really, really wonderful work. So thank you for being a part of it all, and an extra big hearty thank you to my patrons because you guys make this lifestyle possible for me and are just really really kind and wonderful sunbeams of people <laughs> so thank you guys um speaking of sunbeams the sun is coming in and out of clouds we had a super rainy morning this morning which was kind of amazing and now i think the rain is finished for the day and it's looking like it's going to be really sunny which is ideal you get the best of both worlds with the rainy cozy morning and then the bright sunny afternoon so the high is going to be 70 and i thought that i would take advantage of this beautiful weather by going to a cafe and reading a book i've also placed an order for a book at annie bloom's books so i would like to take you guys along with me they just opened up for in-store browsing and i'm gonna see if they're okay with me filming in store because it is kind of a small independent bookstore and if so i want to take you guys along with me we can do some book shopping then enjoy a hot cup of tea or coffee at a cozy cafe in portland and get some reading done um, i don't have any other plans for the rest of the day we'll just see where the day takes us so friends go ahead and grab yourselves a hot cup of tea or coffee your favorite cozy blanket and let's go soak up some sun and browse some books. Cheers!
for it. For a Absolutely. Hello friends, I am crying <laughs> and I don't mean to be crying and I hope that it's okay that I am. Um, these are happy tears, they're so happy and it's because of you guys, honestly. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I don't even know where to start or what to say, but I am so immensely grateful for each every single one of you guys. I'm crying, well for many reasons, but something just absolutely sent me over. And it was a message from Maria Amaro. Um, she is one of my patrons and she sent me a message on Patreon and said some really nice things, but she also wrote a poem for me. But I, th I don't know. Uh, it isn't a poem about me, I don't want to sound conceited, but I think that I want to share it because I'm at a point in my life where a lot of the people who are closest to me don't quite understand what I'm doing with my life and these people, their opinions mean a lot to me and I think that they think that my YouTube channel is kind of conceited. I mean, I film myself just making video, like I'm just am making videos in my life and it's all about me, but it's also so much more than that, or at least I want it to be so much more than that. I want to be a friend to people, to you guys out there, to the same kind of people that are like me that have felt so lost and confused about what to do with their life and just needed a friend. Like, I've talked about it before, but when I first moved to Portland, right after graduating from university, I had nothing figured out and I worked terrible jobs and had zero self-confidence and hardly any money and was really unhealthy and it was just a very, very miserable, dark time in my life. And one of the things that helped me get through that, other than Landon, Landon was so amazing through that phase of my life. Um, one of the things that I clung to every single day was YouTube and my favorite YouTubers. I would watch positive, uplifting vlogs of people's lives and that feeling would seep into my own life and it made things brighter and those YouTubers felt like friends and I have just always wanted to give that to other people and it is my goal to make sure that you know that whatever your life situation is everything is going to be okay you do not have to have everything figured out and if you're at a point in your life where you hate yourself or you're just constantly disappointed in yourself i want so badly to hug you and to tell you that you are more than enough you are worth the best and you will get things figured out no matter how impossible it seems and I just cannot wait for you to get to the point in your life where you can look back at this stage that you're currently in and understand why it had to happen. I really really like the person that I grew into through the hardship that I experienced when I first moved to Portland. It was a very humbling experience, especially working in the service industry for just part of it. I 
completely took for granted the people that work on Saturdays and Sundays at different shops and restaurants that are enabling me to enjoy my weekend. I never even thought about those people and how they're working their weekends away for my own enjoyment. That whole experience, those two plus years of my life, just familiarized me with many different realities of the world and helped me to see that I am no way better than anyone else and that misfits are the best people there are. And love, especially self-love, the most important thing. We have to learn to love ourselves, manage our thoughts and recognize our emotions, be okay with the not so great times of our lives, but then also learn to celebrate our successes and be truly happy about what we've accomplished. Or acknowledge it, don't downplay it if you have accomplished something amazing. Like even graduating from high school, from university, that's a huge accomplishment. Getting a job interview is a huge accomplishment. Reading a book a month is so big. Something as small as making yourself a hot cup of tea and sitting with your thoughts and emotions for 20, 30 minutes or an hour is an accomplishment. We were meant to enjoy our lives and you are more than enough. You are also more than worthy of your own time and it is not self-indulgent to enjoy your life. When you show up for yourself, you are better able to show up for other people. And I want this channel to inspire that type of lifestyle, to inspire this type of wholesome mindfulness way of living, if you will. I don't know. I just want you guys to feel less alone because you make me feel so much less alone. And I want you to know how truly incredible you are. This channel is about me, but I also want it to be about you. I want it to just I want it to be more than me, and gradually I'm figuring out how to do that. I hope that you guys feel like you're part of a community here, and thank you always for being here. And I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna read this poem, Maria. I hope that's okay. You told me it would be okay to share. Um, yes, it's a short poem that Maria wrote, and it went straight to my heart because it spoke to the very things that I'm insecure about, the very things that I hope other people find in this channel. Basically all the insecurities and doubts that I was feeling because of the opinions of others recently, or just the fact that the people very near to me can't necessarily understand the value of my channel or what it is I'm doing. Yeah, all those doubts and sad feelings that were just, that I've been experiencing because of this weird transition phase, um, they were just blown away by this poem. Okay, I'm going to read the poem for you guys. Also, English is not Maria's first language, but she wrote the poem in English and it's amazing. So good job, Maria. I have one friend on the other side of the world but I have a friend that really loves books and writing in the morning when the world still sleeps. I have one friend who sends her words into the world, who shares her art and the beauty of little things because she puts her heart in everything. Sometimes I imagine that we read together and it feels like a hug and I whisper thank you to the wind. I hope that the wind shares these words with the trees and they to the sea until the words reach Portland and you can hear me while I say to you, I have one friend on the other side of the world, and it's wondrous and really magical that this exists. <laughs> oh man, I just fall apart every time that I read it because that is exactly what I want. You guys are my friends. You're all over the world, but you are my friends. And I just want to say thank you so, so very much for being here and for bringing meaning to my life and for seeing value in my videos and wanting to support my art, whether it's my video or illustrations, writing, you name it. Thank you all so very much. You seriously mean so much to me, my friends all over the world. Oh, so. 
Oh boy, I've been talking for 30 minutes already and I haven't even gotten to why I turned on the camera in the first place, which was to just show you guys the books that I bought at Annie Blooms. Um, hopefully I can edit this section down into something that's not 30 minutes long and that is interesting for you all who are watching my video. Thank you if you're still watching. So at Annie Blooms, I picked up The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. I think that so many of us will be able to relate to Nina. Just reading the summary of this book, Nina is a lover of books and is perfectly content to stay at home in her shell and cozy up with a hot cup of tea and a good book. She works at a bookstore, is part of a kick butt trivia team, and has a cat named Phil. And her life is very peaceful and wonderful. And then it looks as if a bit of romance turns her world upside down as well as finding family she never knew even existed. So this looks like a really fun, easy summertime read. Um, I think I'll make it one of my book club choices for my Patreon book club. Next, I picked up The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna, and I've heard so many amazing things about this book, and after reading the summary, I feel like it's going to be very good, very fast paced. The summary gave me Divergent and Hunger Games vibes, and I am all for books with strong female protagonists, and not only does this book center around a strong female protagonist, but it also features a literal army of strong women and girls. It seems like it'll be an action-packed, very quick, page-turning type of read. Very much looking forward to reading it. And lastly, I picked up another copy of World of Wonders in Praise of Fireflies, Whale Sharks, and Other Astonishments by Amy Nazuku Matatu. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video. I picked it up in a Powell's haul. It was recommended to me by Phoebe, a viewer and patron and friend. We're actually reading this book for the month of June in my Patreon book club, and every single month I send a patron whatever book we're reading that month. So that's what I had to deliver at the post office was my original copy of this book. So I needed to pick up another one so that I could also read it. I read the first few essays. It's an anthology. So it's a collection of essays slash stories from Amy's childhood, growing up with a Filipina mother and an Indian father. And it is so beautifully written. I am on page 22 and I've already connected with it so much. It's centered around nature, so various plants and animals and what we can learn from them slash memories from Amy's childhood and is overall just a celebration for life and living your own story. Each of us has a story to tell and so far I'm very much enjoying Amy's. <sighs> All right. All of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a hot cup of tea, water my houseplants, and then cozy on up with a good book. Um, I think that I'm going to pick up The House in the Cerulean Sea because I've not finished that and we are nearing the end of May and I need to finish it by the end of the month. I was enjoying it this morning. It is so good and I think that I would like to try and finish it tonight. So friends, as Monsieur Rue just demonstrated. Make yourselves comfortable and let's get to it.
All right, so it's 5.30 and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. I'm craving roasted vegetables, so I'm gonna roast a head of cauliflower and make some beet chips, and then I think that I'll make a side of wild rice to go with it. Um, I have the audiobook of The House in the Cerulean Sea, so I'm gonna play that while I cook. Extraordinary wall of master's but I've never heard of Mr. Parnassus.